Astrid Artin Lusikian feels incomplete. She was born in France as the granddaughter of four survivors of the Armenian genocide. She says she has inherited that trauma. As a teenager, while my friends were dealing with young adulthood, I began to ask questions about my background. My grandfather, my dad's dad, had always told me about the village where he grew up. It was a haven of peace, until it was wiped off the map, just like the Armenians. They were left with a feeling of injustice of having suffered a collective form of violence. This has been passed on to me. It's like part of my heritage has been cut out. Her grandparents came to Marseille in the 1920s. They counted themselves among the lucky ones, compared to the more than a million Armenians who were murdered by Ottoman Turks. But they also suffered much hardship. Only two of the 50 members of my granddad's family survived. He was taken to a concentration camp. He told me how he urinated into his sister's hands so that she would have something to drink. But his sister died too. He got out and spent the next four years wandering from country to country, ending up in Marseille in 1924. My grandmother's family were more fortunate. They were tipped off and managed to flee with her siblings and parents, but they lost everything. Like many Armenians, they came to Marseille because France was known to take in refugees and because there was work. Astrid has made it her job to find out more about the past. She's a history teacher and works as a volunteer at an NGO that collects documents about the Armenian survivors. But for her, this is also a fight for justice. This helps me complete my identity. Through collecting other people's memories, I find the missing puzzles of my own story. But I also consider myself an activist. This was mass murder. We have a collective history. It's our duty to gather evidence of what happened, especially given that Turkey still denies that there was a genocide. About 30 other countries have recognized the Armenian genocide. France's move to establish an official day of commemoration is good news, she says, but more needs to be done. This is of course progress, as it gives the commemoration ceremonies a legal framework. But France and other European countries need to go further and should create laws to make the denial of the Armenian genocide illegal. It's incredible that that still goes unpunished. Even such additional measures wouldn't fully satisfy Astrid. Only if and when Turkey finally recognizes the Armenian genocide will she be able to find some peace of mind.